Hi, is it time for a new laptop? Well, it's time for me to get a new laptop, so I did. So this is the first time I've done an unboxing. And this, this video is not paid for by Dell. Dell, you can pay me if you would like to, but this video is not paid for by Dell. I bought this computer with my hard-earned money. But I wanted to unbox it for you all to see uh, a new laptop and what it looks like when you take it out of the box. I am going to go in and turn off some stuff to make it even faster. But as I open it, I'll tell you all about it and how long it's been since I've had a laptop, a new laptop. Now my old laptop is still here. I also use a second screen. That's what this is that you can see from the side, my second screen. So I use two screens with my laptop. So I use it like a desktop. So I'm going to just open it up and show you all what's in the box. And I'm going to try to put it where you all can see it. And I should have cut this tape before I started. <laughs> But I've had it a few days and I was waiting. Let me get some scissors. I was waiting so I could show it to you all. And, and then show you all what you can dis, you know, a lot of software comes on them that bloat. They call it bloatware, but it makes it run not fast enough for me. So I like as much speed as I can get. And this is taped really good too. Okay, let's see if we get it open. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. So I haven't seen it. You can see I'm opening it up. So let's see what we got. Okay. Take it out. Take it out of the box. And Got it packed really good. And this is the cable to plug it in. This is part of it anyway. It's usually two pieces of layer right there. And this is okay. Well, this this is how long it's been since I've had a laptop. My my cable, my uh power block did not look like that. So that's the first time I've seen one like that. I'll take it out of the plastic and let y'all see it really good. Okay. That's it. And so what I have is a Precision uh, 3551. And I got it mainly to do videos because my other deal well, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was actually watching a Zoom meeting, and I couldn't see the slides. My computer so old till it wouldn't even show the slides on the Zoom meeting. I know. I know I should have got one a long time ago, but I didn't. So I wanted to wait so I could get one, that, you know, the one I really wanted. I didn't want to just get a laptop, so I waited and saved up a little bit and got a nice laptop that would... Um, handle my videos better and when I'm doing zoom meetings I can actually see the slides that people are showing so this is what I'm, I haven't had a new laptop in so long I'm so excited that's what it looks like okay not a lot to see with a laptop pretty easy setup and what I'll do is I will have to use a different connector um, for people that are at home using laptops and you want to use a second screen you have to have an adapter because this the new laptops do not have a connection for uh, you know just a regular screen like the one that I have here so I have an adapter I have an adapter that's going to go with that. Let me get my adapter real quick. Now I'll show y'all that. So I use this one because see that's got the, I've got two of these, but this one is my HDMI. So to make the second screen run on my new laptop, 
I'll plug this. I got a lot. I got a lot on behind this table. I'll plug this like that. And then plug this in my HDMI connection on the side of my laptop here. Like that. And that will let me run two screens. And I like to run two different screens side by side so that I can see what's on my laptop here. That's, that's it's on the opposite side of, of the, my other laptop, so I'm going to have to maneuver it. Okay, I'll get used to it. But I like to see what's on this screen, and then I like to look at different things on this screen. Because this other, and I, I usually have them like that. Unless I'm recording, and then you don't see this one, because I push it to the side. But that way I can see, I can be checking email here. I could be, or usually what I'm doing is I'm cleaning the video here, and then I'm working on something else on this screen. So this is how the setup, my setup usually looks. And I will show you all turning it on and how I'm going to clean it up either in another video or in the rest of this video. But for now, this is this is this whole video. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And I've been waiting to do this. So I'm going to plug this in to make sure it comes on. I'm going to have to charge it, I am sure. Because I doubt if it's got a charge on it. But yeah, that is just amazing. That block looks like that. See how thin that is? The other one is a big square block. That is so cool. Okay. Plug this in here. Like that. And then plug this. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing, can you? Yeah, plug that into that. See, it's usually two two parts. This is the part, you know, of course, that plugs into the power back there. And then it goes into the power block because there's only one way to plug that. And then it goes here. And let's see how to get this apart here. Okay. Cool. So, part. Yeah. All right. And then plug my power in. That is neat. That's a whole different. That's not even round. See? Huh. I bet it plugs on the side over here, too. All right. Don't see. Uh, okay. Must be on this side. Nope. It's on this side. Cool. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So, I'll tell you a little bit about it. This is a precision. I've never had a precision. I usually get a Inspiron. And like I said, it's got a lot of fun stuff here. I'm going to have to read <laughs> to, to get it connected. But it's got this um, i7 core. And I got 32 gigabytes of RAM. Never had that much RAM before, but I needed some speed. Because when I'm doing videos, I can tell what well, I could get it done faster if I had more speed. Um, but it's interesting. It's got the little green, the little mouse, the old-fashioned little rubber mouse in the middle. I have, they, have to, they had stopped doing that. I see they put, they started back doing it again. I probably connect a keyboard. I have a keyboard and a mouse. 
that I use with mine. Because I use mine like a desktop. Um, if they will, if I have enough space, I may have to get a adapter and plug into the USB port and then plug them into that. Because I don't know if I have enough room for the mouse and the keyboard, but we'll find out. I'm going to show you all more about the, how everything that's on it here in just a minute. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and set it up. Okay. So, as you can see, both screens are showing the exact same thing. So, I'm going to set it up for English. That's what I speak. Yes. And. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. All right, Cortana. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. All right. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to U.S. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. All right. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Now type your credentials. Oh, forgot I'm not hooked up to my keyboard and my mouse yet, so. Oh. And I am not going to go online right now because I don't want to, I don't want to set it up with the password, with the, um, where I have to use a password. I know y'all can only see my hand. So I'm going to skip this part. And I'm just going to tell them I don't have the internet. I actually just do. Just so you know, connecting to a network now could save you some time later. If okay. you want to get that out of the way, choose yes. All right, and I'm going to say continue with limited uh, set up. Next up, the legal stuff. Yeah. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You okay. can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. All right, so I, I usually scan through this, read this. This is good information. I'm going to go through it quick because y'all don't need to watch me read this. All right. I'm going to speed read it. <laughs> no, I always go through it all the way to the bottom, and then I accept. Type what you want to name your account. Hmm. And I never use my name on my computers. I always use my business name. So I'm going to use my business name. And I'm doing this on purpose without... Okay. now type a password for your account. I'm not going to put a password on it. I don't put passwords on my account because my computer is in my home. Rarely is it away from me. So I'm just going to say next. And this you way... the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Uh... I'm going to turn off some of these I know I don't need. This advertising ID. Uh, apps can be can use advertising ID to provide more personal advertising. I don't need that. Um, let's see. It says, what is that? In, in, linking and typing. The optional linking and typing diagnostic data. Definition suggests capability apps. I'm going to turn this one off for now. In any of these you turn off, now you can turn back on. Um, get location-based experience, like directions and weather. Uh, I really don't use that. Diagnostic data, send information about websites you browse and how. I might leave that one. Tailored experience. I'm not going to let them do that either. Um, online speech recognition, use your voice for dictation. I'm going to leave that. Because sometimes I do use a software that lets me um, talk. So I'm going to leave that. Let's see what else is over here. 
I guess that's all of them, except... Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? I'm gonna let Cortana finish talking because this is a video, but I will turn her off. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Mm, I guess I'll let them have that and such. <laughs> See, I don't film from this side of the table. So this is a little tricky. Alright, so I'll just get the video. Okay, so United States. Oh, okay. I got it. I found a video how to do that. Okay. United States. Alright, and I'm going to use my regular email address. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Alright. So, while it's doing that, I'm going to move the camera back out. And let it do its thing. That way you can see both of my screens. And once I once it's finished setting up, I'm gonna go in and uh, shut down some more uh, software, and I'll do that directly on the screen so you all can see exactly what I'm doing. But I'm gonna turn off a lot of things that I know I'm not gonna use, so that they're not using up my space. And I'm going to adjust the view, the uh, how it looks. I'm gonna do it now before I get used to it looking really cool. <laughs> And this is what it looks like. And I am a pickle. The date is wrong. So I get to set my clock and stuff. But I'm going to let my battery continue to charge. Because it is not 10 o'clock at night here. <laughs> I don't think it's this late. Uh, I don't have my clock. But I got to set some stuff. So I'll be back and we'll do some more stuff. Here in just a minute.